You've yeah, noticed yeah. that Michael's here. I'm here. Very low key, <laughs> very yeah. shy. Uh, but the director of the show, Michael, which which is great, because yeah. we've never seen you in that guise before. So tell us, tell us about it. Tell us the story. Well, I mean, everything, everything, all this, even me being here, has all come from TikTok. And we'll maybe talk about that in a sec. And th this came along, and they, they were fin getting up. They, they were going to open in London two weeks ago, which we did, and do it for a limited run. And it's a brand new play, and Jordan Conway wrote it, and they and his dad. John directed it and they were struggling with a bit of it and asked me to come in and have a look at it. Is this the first time you've co-directed anything? Or... Yeah, they are. Yeah. Really? I've never directed anything. Yeah, I'll just wing... I'll do it like my career, I'll just wing it. So, I don't... You... I, yeah. I mean, I can do scripted stuff like you just did, but I prefer to... <laughs> You know, uh, all right. Yeah. No, no, well, I'm not <laughs> criticizing it. I say you want to say, and then Michael Barry won't give it. No, no, Barry, Barry, it's good, you know, you know. People are sitting home, they, they, they're not interested in that. They just want to get on with it. <laughs> okay. okay, do you want me to come in? I'll do a bit of direction. Who's directing? Would you like to get upstairs? You need to direct you yeah. personally. Really? You see, yeah. that's what I do with them. I love it. They've been amazing. Honestly, it's a raw. It's got something about it, you know, one of those shows. I'm glad to have some input. Can I ask, with all this in mind and what yeah. we've just learned about you, uh, what were you like to, to produce and direct when you had your TV shows? You must, no, have, been a, you must have been a nightmare. <laughs> did you listen to anyone when you are on telly? Yeah, or did you of course. Just do your own thing? No, no, no. I, I, you, everybody needs a format. Every show I ever had had a format. Uh, this has. Mm. And that, what I do is deconstruct it. So that it, has, it just looks like it's just, performance, drama, anything you do. This what you do it should just be seamless. You know, you shouldn't go up to performance there. If you can be like you are off stage, like you were before the cameras come on, before you two went, yeah, oh, like Michael Barrow's coming in. We're terrified of it. You just talk like that. We're terrified of it. Well, you just turn around and say, hello, you, hello, <laughs> got, hello. Oh, that's a change. Uh, but, but, how are you doing, you know? Yeah, yeah well, we do that like that most of the time, but when you're sitting there terrifying, you know, us, <laughs> no, I'm not telling you how to do it. It works. Is that the approach? It works for me. Is that the approach you took with the, with this show? Yeah, I mean the the scripts it's it's changed a lot, and I just brought it down. You know when they put the gags in, which I have in this show, and it's a brilliant show, and I'm very proud of it. And those eight young uh, plays are amazing. But I, I just try and get to say I don't want to see the gag. I know it's in there. I just want it to come as part of the conversation. Can you talk us through the story? And like then, get the shoulders it... down. The story. It's about Chaplin and. Uh, but we always about think Laurel and Hardy, and, uh, don't What's we? the other guy? Laurel. I directed it, I can't... Chap Laurel. There yeah. you go, yeah. Yes, yeah, about them I'm two. here for you, man, you need me. Oh, cheers, man. You. I got you. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, um, it's about those two and about they met when they were youngsters and before he met o o Oliver Hardy, o the other guy, the big guy. Yeah. Um, these two together and they fell out and, and about Chaplin ending up being so determined to be a star and how he thought he should be and Stan was a bit more laid back. And it's about all the characters they meet. And, and his mum was in a mental institution and stuff like that. So Charlie Chaplin left Laurel behind, did he? He found his newfound fame in Hollywood, Charlie yeah. Chaplin, he sort of left Laurel Yeah, yeah, behind. he did, but then he found uh, it was Oliver Hardy, so he ended up just as big without all the pain that Charlie went, you know... Charlie Chaplin was he said, at the end, he, he, man, he right? says, like, uh, they, they're big stars, and I'm just thought of as a communist. Right. Because that brought him down at the time. And what so, can people expect when they come and see the show? To have a laugh. Oh, we've got yeah, a lot of comedy yeah, in I mean, it. Yeah, I don't know about the story. The story's story is a loose thing so that we can all do it like this. Yeah. yeah every, all the guests you have here is excuses to get you, you through, to, through from the beginning to the end well, of the show. Well, you just want to bring a bit With of light... A bit of help from the cameraman. Oh, I know, I know his name. All right. You want to bring a bit of light into people's lives. That's, that's the kind of you know, main focus of everything we entertainment do, Entertainment right? is yeah. about... It's what I've always done. It's about taking you away... If they come in the theatre and forget your troubles and all yeah. the crap that we all have to deal with for two hours, then it's done its job. You've got to take... It's all about the people as it is at home. And that's what I think a lot of productions, studios have forgot. It's about the people. The people made me. And now we've been reconnected. They've come back and we're all back together again. Well, not everyone, because not everybody yeah. knows I'm back. You've all reconnected around. with... Uh, with tick, you've got reconnected with TikTok, though. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. So talk us through that and how all that happens. If, 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 if TikTok had been around 20 years ago in the studio, when I was working in the studio, I'd have done TikTok, for me. Yeah, yeah because it, it suits the way I work. As long as you know how to angle it. And it still has rules. You still have to sit by the rules. You can't, you know. And even with those rules, it, it's very freeing. And, and it's just by the... I mean, we got 350 million views in the first year, 400 million in the second year, you know, and it's around the world, you know? So I'm happy. I'm, I've never been so busy. 
I've never been so happy, and it's lovely to connect with well, you. You, like a lot of people, grew up with me. Yeah, I and, grew and, up and, with and, you. Yeah, nothing's changed except you've all got bigger. And, you know, yeah. you know, and do you know what? I want to thank you because you brought so many laughs to my uh, household. Our favourite show was Strike It Lucky. I'd love to you. see it back. And, and you were one of the greatest. You looked a bit like me when I was younger. Does it? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't reckon. But yeah. uh, that, that's no. not, it's not a compliment. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I wasn't taking it as one. I'm only joking. Oh, <laughs> <come> on. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, all right, Barry. Well, right, really? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at all them yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you, so was you, this all accidental, Michael? That's was not it, real. Was it people looking back at the old clips of shows? Is that how TikTok kind of started for you? Yeah, well, I showed... I, 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 I had a lot of the master tapes. I, when I was working in the studio, um, I had uh, arti artistic control. Mm. They wouldn't give me editorial. And Benny Hill, when I met he said, he said, I really enjoyed your show when I was at Thames. When I started, I thought, wow, it's Benny Hill. He said, make sure you get editorial control when you, it's your turn. And eventually we did, but they called it artistic. So I had the master tapes. Right. And then we thought, oh, let's give TikTok a go. Twitter, you know, it's not mm. for entertainment. Instagram is nice for families, and it's not really that medium. But this, and originally it was all, oh, it's for kids, but there's some great creators in there. And we started showing originally to sell clips of kids say the funniest things, strike it lucky, uh, all that. Barrymore, and they, bit by bit, it took me two months to get a blue tick. And, and bit, I started with one, I won on telly, I wasn't in any papers, and bit by bit, and we got this, the 30 the somethings come back, and then they showed their kids, and that's the audience now. And the majority of my audience are like 18 to 24, up to 30, about 5% are the older ones. And there's a whole new audience in all around the world. It's, I, I mean, we've only been on it two years. And I'm sitting here talking to you. you I, mean, I couldn't be more happy. No, honestly. I couldn't. Fair play. Do you know yeah. what? We're so glad you're happy. You know, you've been through the middle of it and we're so glad you're on yeah, the Yeah, yeah, no, everybody has stuff to go yeah. through. And you know how I've dealt with it. You know how I've dealt with all that? So I'm getting a bit emotional. Come here. <laughs> no, right. don't, don't do right, that, because right. no, then he'll the go. The crime works. Right. It looks oh, good on telly. <laughs> um, has that... Jesus, no, <laughs> oh, got me. It got <laughs> me. <laughs> has that changed No, no, your, it did. Uh, yeah. Has it all changed your attitude to telly? Are you happier now living in the TikTok world, or do you fancy getting back? No, I live in TikTok land. Obviously, you never say no to anything, but it... You, you, people say... When some of the comments on the clips is, oh, you wouldn't have... When they see the clips from 20 years ago, you know, that we're putting out now on yeah. TikTok. They go, oh, fantastic, but you wouldn't be able to do that today. I said, mm. I couldn't do it 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. I was always getting in trouble on a Monday morning from Ofcom. You can't say this, you can't do that, and telling me off a well. And then by the time I got in the studio and did the next show, after they told me off, I'd forgotten what it was they told me not to do and did it again. And then, <laughs> you know, you get 18, 22 million viewers and everybody yeah. was thought, oh, all right. Yeah. You know, I'm, Listen, we've just got to just yeah. be a bit looser with, yeah. with, with what our production, you know, that's all. And you're one of the greatest, I know how to make know? TV programmes, and if yeah. you get the right team around you, and I love collaborating, my favourite part is putting it together, mm. the rehearsals and that, when you did Barrymore and the big production numbers. Mm. You know, it's a bit like Christmas, the actual day of product. Yeah. You put is it true on. you never read somebody's bio? You just um, you just done it on the spot. You never read about. I never them. met any of the contestants on Strike It Lucky. I never met any of them. Uh, Morris, the producer, would take my place, and then I would go in and, and just literally like we worked out. I never met you two before ever personally. Have we? No. 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 no you don't look familiar. No. And, no and, although and, you seem to be able to do my accent quite well. Yeah, I'm sort yeah. of, yeah. <laughs> I can sing quite, I can do everything a bit well, you know. Um, do you see over your shoulder there, Gox going, lads, any chance? Any chance he covered to us? What was we're, that? I didn't hear that. What we're was coming that? to you now in a minute. Just, Michael's just telling us some stuff. Don't worry. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I was listening. I was engrossed. I was watching <laughs> telly. <laughs> nice to meet you, Gox. I was there, like, darling. How are you? You all right? Um, How are you? Yeah, lovely. I've you, enjoyed you, your work. I'm going to come and see the play. Catch your play. Are you going to come see the play? I'm going to come see the play. I'll come and say that. And also, I'm at every play. I'm doing Peter Pan off. I'm directing Peter Pan off this for the arenas tour. And then probably next year, around about February, I'm going to do my first one man live show. Well, good yeah, luck. Good luck with, with everything. Probably the Albert Hall. It's good to see you so happy. Yeah. Are you trying to wind it up? Yep, we yeah. are. Wind up. Thanks so much. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so Lots much. Lots of love, everyone. Uh, and look. thank you, everybody at TikTok, for all Thanks, of this. Bye. All of our fans. Thank you. Um,